I've been doing hazmat for a long time. One thing I can tell you is that hazmat incidents come in all shapes and sizes. First thing you need to do when you approach a scene is establish the hot, warm, and cold zones. Now a DJI's M300 with the laser rangefinder and POI function can give us a new way to do that. Hot zones are dangerous. He could be talking about fire, radiation, or gases that could kill you or those nearby. Warm zones are just beyond that danger. This is where we stage the entry to the hot zone and decontaminate those on their way out. Cold zones are safe zones. This is where we put our support and mark off the air to civilians. We could use DJI's M300 to set our zones quickly and safely. That's good for the public and that's good for us. As we start pushing the limits of the drones to see what we could do with them, DJI has been working with us and uh, letting us have some input on how we can uh, improve the drones. They're listening to the responders, building the products the responders are now going to be using, which kind of really works for us because now I can start doing more things with the drones and keep more people out of the hazard area. With the drone, you can get in close to see the incident without putting any of our people in harm's way. The new OcuSync will let us get up to about six miles away, and under the wrong circumstances, you want all the distance you can get. With the drone, you can also get around much faster than waiting for someone to gear up and get decon established. And we can now have eyes on that scene in real time. At 50 minutes flight time, it's also got more juice than any other drone we've used before. Using the new laser rangefinder, we can measure the area and set the zones with a bird's eye view. We've been using DJI drones for a few years now to stay safe, improve efficiency, and do our job better every day. The M300 is the next obvious step for us.